place. This should boost the main processor 5,000%. Can we do it to my computer, Dad? Well, I don't know. It's pretty powerful, Tina. Okay. We have ignition. Ooh, I like. Go. Uh, on the other hand, Dad, if you don't have the time to do mine, I understand. Yeah, it must be a loose connection. Uh, Dad, shouldn't the power be off? Well, theoretically, you're right, Tina, but when you're familiar with... <laughs> Dad, are you okay? Do I know you? Ouch. Meltdown City. Whoa. Oh. Ah, well, I was tired of that computer anyway. Yeah, it's not like it was a great color. Yeah, right. And it was kind of noisy. Exactly. Oh, look, it's working. Here, try the keyboard. Not responding. Hold it. Activate. Run program. Boot up. Hello. Testing. One, two, three. Hello. Hello. Hello, friend. Undersold. So if you need tires, only at Sears. It's best selling gasoline. What's shaking, sis? Whoa. <laughs> Watch out, you, you only get one chance at that stuff. Harry, I'm trying to concentrate. Yeah, I, I wouldn't leave any lying around. You know, uh, I step in that, this machine don't go nowhere. Sorry. Mom! So near, yet so far. Thanks, Tina. Mom, Dad's video camera. We need it, quick. Video camera? Mom, it's incredible. We crossed the wires. It started talking. OK, uh, let me see. Uh, Fred took it out back to tape Turner. And then he would have realized there wasn't enough lights. So we go out front. By this time, Turner would have gotten bored and gone back inside. Fred might have noticed the eavesdrops still hadn't been cleaned. Should I clean them? Should I not clean them? This would have made him really tired, so he would come back inside and have a second cup of coffee. Check the cupboard of the coffee maker. Thanks. This sounds big. Dad has come up with the greatest scientific breakthrough of this century. Is it possible? Hey, they said Kirstie Alley couldn't make the transition to film. Lucky shot. That ball went so far it needed a transfer. Hi. Uh, how come you're so mad? Number one, if you want to play baseball with the big guys, you have to hold the bat with two hands. Sorry. Hi, guys. Where are you going, Ma? Where it is, your father's come up with the scientific breakthrough of the century. Okay, patch the camera to the auxiliary input. I am, Dad. So, uh, what is it this time, Brady? 
Oh, nothing. Just a little thing I came up with called artificial intelligence. Something that science has been trying to develop for the last 40 or 50 years. Much better. Thank you, Tina. It talks! Wow. You can see us? Queer as a bell. All right, I want you to meet the RD-12, the world's first computer capable of human reasoning. RD-12, I want you to meet the Edisons. Ike? Idella? Turner? Tina? Casey? And Harry? Over here! Down, down! To the right! How you doing? Interesting family, Fred. How smart is he? Well, we don't know yet. He keeps generating new memory cells. Can you do social studies? What are social studies? Uh, I think he needs data. Well, don't worry. I'll be cramming his brain with all the information I can get these mitts on. Thank you, Fred. Yeah, no problem. Fred, maybe you can figure out, you well, know. Yeah, Case, that's the whole idea. You're smudging my wens. Oh, sorry. Better? Much. It is my honor to present the award for best scientific discovery in the field of... Uh, I think I need my glasses. Uh, physics. Field of physics. Okay. And the nominees are... John Blakey, Missing Matter in Universe. Enrico Fermi Jr., Neutrino Neutrano, Kevin Costner, Dances with Wolves, Fred Edison, Artificial Intelligence. And the winner is... <laughs> what do they seal these envelopes with? A particle beam accelerator? <laughs> <laughs> the, the winner is... Fred Edison, Artificial Intelligence! Fred, easy. Well, I'm, uh, I'm shocked. And I'm, I'm very, very honored to be here in Geneva. I uh, actually realized I was in Switzerland when I was standing outside the train station and the guy next to me yodeled for a cab. <laughs> Switzerland, the yodel. What are you doing? Just say thank you and go. No, but I, I've, uh, this award's great. I, I've never really gotten an award, uh, <laughs> which is pretty sad, considering I bowl frequently. Get a grip. You're blowing it bad. But to know, you know, bowling is the only sport I know where you, you get a prize just for putting your shoes on. You're bombing, Fred. This is pathetic. <laughs> Because, uh, you see, bowling's the kind of sport, you know, it's the only game where the, the more you play it, the fatter you get. You get huge. I was in Gospel when I was young. Case? I had that dream again. There's no bell nightmare. Yeah, only this time it was in Switzerland instead of Sweden. But do you realize I could actually win a Nobel? I mean, he's getting smarter and smarter. And he'll be able to finally analyze that meteor, and then we'll be able to get Turner and Harry back. That's great, Fred. For once, I'll have something to say at that Federation of Scientists meeting. But uh, old Ken Littinger make one of his wisecracks this time. <laughs> well, I guess it's all a matter of just hanging in there, you know? Just hanging in there. It's just, it's just a matter of time. What? What a jerk I am. I wake you up just to tell you that. 
Go back to sleep. everybody feel like somebody special. Taga, Saturday at 6, only on the Family Channel. It began with a dream. No one... Hey. Wow, look at him go. Hey, Dad, how's Artie doing? Well, I hooked him up to the data bank at the library with a modem. He's downloading books by the thousands. I've returned. So, Artie, what's the verdict? All right. Dickens, a master. Tolstoy, very interesting. Dostoevsky, a bit of a sad sack, but powerful. Then there's Jacko and Suzanne. Talk about riveting. Is she popular? Uh, uh, in some circles she is, yeah. And that Barry of the Dolls, they should make that into a movie. They already did. Ooh, and I bet it turned out nicely. Niwi, niwi. If you don't mind, I weave the way I came in. We have to start screening his input. We have to keep feeding our knowledge, but it's got to be useful things. We can't get out of this brain, okay? All right, now use what we do. I'm sorry, 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 I'm Made some tea. No thanks, I'm into my horticultural bag. And I'll tell you something else. When I get back the human form, I'll always show respect for those of the insect world. The little people. Sure, they, they buzz around and aggravate you sometimes, but they're just like you and I. If you cut them, do they not ooze? That already may be just a collection of nuts and bolts, but if he brings you back to me, I'm gonna give him one big kiss. Hey, why punish the guy? You little... And you won't be able to do that anymore, either. Oh, great. They close the data bank at the research center. <sighs> this is the last disc, Dad. I know, I know, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. Fred, can I borrow your friend for a bit? I need a gardening tip. Oh, now, Idella, we can't be wasting his time. It'll only take two seconds. Artie. Yes, Idella? I'm planting some rhododendrons out back, and I've got a shady patch. Idella, please. I want him to concentrate on important things. Fred, I read something today. The whole of science is nothing more than a refinement of everyday thinking. Oh, what's that? Some more Jackie Suzanne? Albert Einstein. Oh, yeah. It is, it is, he did say that, didn't he? Yes. All knowledge we wait. What he's saying, Fred, is I might even be a help to him. Makes sense. Okay. He's all yours. Bye, Artie. Bye. So long. Okay. Now, about these rhododendrons. Which comes from the Greek wodo, meaning woes, and dendwen, meaning twee, and woes twee. Very good. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, they we we are. It's too bad you can't smell them. I do, uh, what's smelling like? When it comes to flowers, it's the best part. You ever see Terminator? What's that, Ike? Oh, it's this really cool movie about this robot from the future, and, and you blow him up, doesn't matter. He just keeps on coming, he doesn't give up ever. It's so cool. And, and, and like, you take a hand grenade, and you throw it at him, and when the dust clears, he's still there. He, like, withstands everything. The secret of life is... Timing when the rhythms right, it's real. When all the words are rhyming, and love is something you feel. That's all I have so far. I think it would be nice to have a voice like yours, Tina. I've made you uncomfortable. It's sort of. I don't know. I guess I don't take compliments very well. I don't know if it's my age or what, but I have a lot of insecurities. Like, am I too smart? Should I worry about getting the highest grades in school all the time? Should I be taller? Should my hair be longer? 
The list goes on. You're a lovely person. Artie, come on. What am I supposed to say to that? How about thank you? Well, thank you, Artie. And you're a handsome-looking computer yourself. Thank you, Tina. I remember wondering if I would regret giving up things when I became a mother, like my piano and the band. Oh, look, here's when I got his first tooth. Casey, what's it like being a mother? What's it like? I remember when Tina was born and they brought me this little baby. And I remember looking at her. And when she opened her eyes and looked at me, I felt so warm, so proud. I was afraid to close my eyes in case she disappeared. It feels good. Yeah. And, and you know what else? My dad's the best, because because when we go out to a restaurant, he pretends to look the other way, and I eat his french fry. You're very lucky, Turner, to have such a nice family. I know. Harry. That's the name. You and I are awake. Come again? We're not like normal people. Uh, we are what we are. My theory, I fly, therefore I am. Good one. Thanks. That's right. Give yourself a hand, people. Two years ago, if you got on an elevator with me, honey, you better be going down. And look at me, size 42 Husky and holding. I was watching that, Fred. Artie, have you finished those density readouts? I haven't got to the gift win. Sorry. Sorry. It's been two days. All right, that does it. You're not angry, are you? Just stay there. Change of policy around here. Hello, everybody. Hi, Artie. What's new? New Jersey, New Brunswick. Hi, Jilk. Recognize the rhythm? Yeah, see, this is exactly what I was talking about. Everybody's chit chatting and fooling around. Nobody's getting any work done. All right, from here on in, new ground rules. Number one, he's not, it's not Artie. It's RD12. It's a computer, not a, a toy or a buddy. Should we be taking notes here, Fred? Number two, I will control all the input information. Now, you've got him... It. It. So confused, it doesn't know what it's doing. Fred. Uh, please, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Fred. What? I want to go. You what? I want to travel the world and experience its myriad of wonders. Then I'll recount my findings in either poetry or prose. I haven't decided yet. But, but Artie, why do not you say what? Well, do you see what you've done? You've turned him into a Rod McEwen. And we didn't need the first one. You've all told me wife isn't just digital bites. It has to be felt. And for that, I need to be free. Oh, no, you're not. You're not going anywhere until you help us solve that problem with a meteor. All right. Nobody touch the modem. It's verboten. We leave this unhooked, he can't go anywhere. But he'll be a prisoner. Well, only until he helps us solve our problems, and then he can, he can do whatever he wants. But there's no guarantee that will happen, Fred. You see, science bores me, equations, formulas. It's just not my thing. Besides, some things aren't meant to be figured out. It's the old Gilligan syndrome. If they found a way off the island, there'd be no more show. So come on, Fred, turn on that modem. Artie's right, Dad. Let him go. You've got to. Go on, Fred. Yeah, Dad. Let him fly, Freddy. Let me spread my wings. You're not spreading, spreading anything. You're, you, what's, look, it's a machine, that's all, just a machine. You people are going soft on me, bad soft. <laughs> so long, Sweden. Thanks, 
wet. We'll miss you. So long, Edison's. Bye, Artie. Bye. Thanks for the flowers. We started. Harry's still a fly, Turner's still extra special. So what's wrong with that? Pass the polenta all fruit. Pass the polenta all fruit. Would you please pass the jelly? Polanner All Fruit is real fruit, sweetened only with fruit juice. You'll call it delicious, you'll call it remarkable, but please don't dare call it jelly. Polanner All Fruit, the spreadable fruit. New Italian Cappuccino. Here's Dunk Beers. Listen. You did the right thing, Fred. Yeah. Did I tell you I got a fax from him? No. He was with an IBM research computer in Minnesota. He told me I should check out surge suppressors for the meteor hookup. Oh, that was thoughtful. Am I missing something? Is science that boring? Am I that boring? Because I like it. I don't know. Artie hated it, but I don't mind compiling statistics or analyzing residue or calculating Metal densities? Give me a beaker, a Bunsen burner, and a, mm, a nice apple fritter, and I'm a happy guy. So, does that make me dull? Hmm, Case? Case? Say no more. Join the Waltons, where there's always room for one more. Grandson. Celebrate the joy of life and love. Daddy, you ever been in love? As they find in each other the courage to reach for their dreams. The Waltons, weeknights at 7. So don't sweat it. Call Sears now and get 0% finance charge, no 